Dr. Inga Jung, it is such a privilege and a pleasure to have you on the podcast today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Well, there's so much to cover today. You have so much expertise and so much value to share. I want to just jump right into it, if that's all right with you. Absolutely. Before we're finished, I definitely want to talk about the allergy kit, but before we jump straight away into that, let's get a little sense of what you do and what your practice is like. Well, I, after the COVID, I don't see too many patients. I see a few. Uh, I work mostly with my allergy kit. It takes a lot of time and I have people I call or they want advice, so I do that. I also do coaching, especially with um, belly fat, burnout, and brain fog, because many people don't understand that weight has to do with allergies or sensitivities. Since my kit is called the allergy kit, I use the word allergies a little loosely, but it covers also the other sensitivities and uh, whatever the other name is. But <laughs> so uh, by working with allergies, also you can get that rid of cravings because if you have horrible cravings for sugar and wheat, for example, how will you be able to lose weight? Mm. For if, sure. If you can't stay away from the foods, it's, it is impossible. And also, it's often as if it is a switch, if you feel hungry or if you're full, that is not working properly. So here in the United States, when we have an ailment or an injury or some kind of medical issue, or even if we want to be proactive, we will go and schedule a visit with our doctor. We'll talk about our symptoms and they will lay out a treatment plan. How is your practice different? First of all, I want people to learn about what they are suffering from and why, and I want them to participate. So if somebody comes to me, for example, for let's say back pain or sciatica, I treat them with, with acupuncture, but first I do an allergy treatment. I have found that it's many, many years ago, over 20 years ago. I found that allergies, when I treat allergies, I have better results and faster results for aches and pains too. And it really started once when I had a client of mine who used to come in once or twice a year only to, because his neck was, was tight. And then one day he had no appointment and he almost crawled in. He had somebody who helped him in and who had driven him. It was in the winter here in South Florida. It was probably 67 degrees, so it was cold. <laughs> and <laughs> so we came in with this sciatica attack, and I did four different acupuncture treatments, and nothing happened. And then it occurred to ask him if he drinks coffee. So it's funny that you say that, because since it was cold this morning, my boss gave me a double Cuban coffee. Two hours after, he turned around to pull down an empty box, and that's how he, he just would stop, he could not move. I treated him for an allergy to coffee, and like this, in five minutes, his pain was gone. So wow. that, that opened my eyes about how much allergies or sensitivities are related to aches and pains. Well, this is just fascinating because if my leg hurts, I'm not thinking about an allergy to something no. when I come see you. <laughs> exactly. So that's why, especially with acupuncture, you come to see me because you have a pain. And I have had many people who say, well, but I have a pain in my leg or my knee or whatever. And I say, yeah, 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 I get you that. <laughs> <laughs> and since I muscle test, I can also show them that they are weak. Um, 
So I have my system that's the same in the other decade. There is a system with seven guys that you have to treat first. But it is, it is amazing how things are related and we, we don't think about it. No, this is just so fascinating because right now I have an ankle that's a little yippy. <laughs> that's a medical term, I, I believe, yippy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just sensitive in an awkward place. And I went to see my chiropractor yesterday and he yanked on it and he poked on my back and it felt so much better. Yes. So I understand that the body is a series of nerves and meridians and what have you that are all interconnected. And this is so fascinating to me, but an allergy is even more fascinating. So something I ate or ingested could be causing my ankle to have issues. Is that what you're saying? Yes, because, for example, um, it depends on where on the ankle, what if it's on the outside point or the inside or the middle. It's on the and inside. It's on the inside. So that has to do with your bladder and kidney meridian and spleen. And that and the spleen also has to do with, with the, uh, your metabolism. So um, it definitely can have to do with your spleen. Wow, this is so interesting. So if someone comes in and they do have allergies, say they have allergies to pollen or to what have you, is it here in central Illinois where I'm located? Corn pollen, tree pollen, grass pollen, those are the big allergens in our area. How would you begin to address those? I would first of all do the first, the basic, I will explain how it is. Uh, because it's simpler to, to show, to show the, the, the kit. This is the, the kit. And of course, this is a, a full kit. Every kit doesn't have that many. So, okay. so those who are listening to the podcast, she's showing a box that has several vials in it, although it doesn't look sinister like a, like a crime show with, a, with an arch villain in it. It looks quite lovely and inviting. And there are, I don't know, more. Yes, there are these vials and then there's a laser because it's an energy treatment. Okay. So we, treat, we treat with a laser and the um, vials. Let me see where the camera is. They are filled with water that then are imprinted homeopathically. Homeopathy means light cures light. So when you treat something that you have inside yourself, it evens out. So that's how you can eliminate the allergies. And um, how, it, how you do to explain why the, I have the seven purse bile as they are. Vial number one is for egg, chicken, milk and dairy, vitamin C, or something else, and, and parasites. And there is a blood, uh, a brain body balancer also. And some people say, well, I'm vegan. I don't eat chicken or, or any animal products. Well, we came from an egg. <laughs> and we have to be able to absorb the basic protein, whether, where, wherever it comes from. When we are born, we get milk. And when we start to eat, we get vitamin C. So that's the reason why it is put up like that. Treatment number two is for sugar and vitamin B. We need B for the nerves and, I mean, a lot of stuff. And sugar isn't everything, even in breast milk. Hmm. And the third treatment is for toxins. You know, Babies today, they are born with up to 500, close to 500 different chemicals and, and uh, impurities, which is right. a little scary. So they get that from the mother, but the mother has to breathe. Sure. So we keep toxifying ourselves. And uh, number four is for vaccines. Most people have been vaccinated and uh, most people have, it's now like the third or fourth generation that are vaccinated. And uh, especially kids on the autism, there is a change after that treatment. Number five is for sugar again and candida. Because it is so common, I really recommend that people treat the, the sugar by maybe monthly because, because 
everything is sugar. And number six is for grains. And then um, number seven is a mixture of the first six, six vibes plus the endocrines and organs. And then, so they do that first. So if they have a pollen allergy, for example, I recommend the, because I have the basic kit, which is what I talked about. Then we have a food allergy kit, environmental kit, autism kit, and mental health kit, <laughs> which also has the first seven vibes, but then a lot of emotions. So with the environmental kit, that contains, for example, mold. And it also has mold, it also has virus and bacteria, and it's a great treatment to do with the first sign of, of a cold. And uh, I mean, here we live, I live in South Florida. It is mold everywhere. So it's a great thing to, to do. And many people are affected by mold. I myself was very, very sick a few years back. I thought I was going to leave this plane. That's how sick I was. And I was, I thought the symptoms were from mold, couldn't find any mold anywhere. And then I realized that my air condition was full of black mold. <laughs> so it took, took a few years and I still have a sick widow with, with the cough. So anyway, so that's the pollen that so many people suffer from. As you live there, I know in Texas, they have a lot of, of pollen also from some kind of cypress or mountain cedar. And then if we have, you know, kids who wake up in the middle of the night or, or in the morning with respiratory problems and asthma, they are allergic to uh, dust mites, mm -hmm. which is also in the uh, kit. That's the environmental kit. So what does it have more? And, uh, and it has, of course, trees and grass. And it also has cats and dogs. Even if you don't have a cat or dog, they are around. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, if you're allergic to any kind of environment, you normally are allergic to all these things. And I also have a water vibe in there because we, even if we drink filtered water, water, filtered water we shower. I recommend, of course, <laughs> a filter on the shower. But we wash our hands. You can't have, especially in an apartment, you cannot have a filter everywhere. Or you go out and you wash your hands. It's not a filter on that water. Or maybe you don't even, you drink water out in the restaurant and you assume it's filtered water and it's not. So I believe that a lot of people are sensitive to the water. So that's why I have that in too. This is so interesting. What was in vial number four again? Uh, uh, vaccines. Okay. I had mentioned something about autism and allergies. Is there a link between allergies and autism? Yes. Every kid on the spectrum has allergies. Everybody. Every. It's just that, unfortunately, not enough people know about that. So they often have tummy aches, they're constipated, but they don't take that, they don't put allergies and those ailments together. And why they get constipated is, of course, they don't get the right food. And unfortunately, too, these kids, they often want all the wrong things like wheat and sugar and milk. Yeah. And uh, temper tantrums, for example, and meltdowns, comes very, very often from wheat and everybody consumes wheat, but wheat is one of the things that we really, really, really should try to avoid as much as possible because one of the proteins in wheat is called zonulin and that makes holes in our intestinal lining. It makes holes in our intestine? In the lining, yes. And that allows undigested food to go out in the bloodstream. And that creates antibodies and allergies. So, you well, know, I'm not a doctor, but that sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> it is a bad thing. And leaky gut, you know, like a few years back, doctor said that was not possible. 
but it is, and it is becoming more and more common because people eat more and more wheat. They eat it like four times a day often. And um, the only thing is to stop eating wheat. And you can, I mean, the allergic reaction that you have is not exactly the same as the, the pool making, but that is a reaction. So kids who behave badly, they call it bad behavior and that, you know, often the parents are looked upon as if they are can't handle their kids and don't know what to do. No, they don't know what to do. They have an allergic reaction, so it's not their fault. So it's uh, really important for parents to, if they don't get the kit, <laughs> at least have them not to eat wheat. And I know it's very, very hard because that is what they crave and that is what they want. And With it's in kit, everything. Yes. But with a kit, you can avoid, when you treat yourself with a kit, for example, the sugar cravings go away and the wheat cravings go away. Another thing with the wheat is it has something called gluten morphine. What does that sound like to you? Gluten. <laughs> morphine. <laughs> oh, the morph. I missed that part. Morphine? Gluten morphine. And that wow. means that a lot of people get addicted to it. There are even some cases where they get high. Some people, they can get high from eating bread. You see, they get red, red cheeks and they get a little out of it. But mm. it is habit for me. Well, yeah, this, this is so, <laughs> so shocking for me to hear all of these things. And as we're speaking, I'm mentally going through all the ingredients in my cabinets and creating a grocery list that I need to replace these things. Yes, I know. Oh, I know it's scary. It really is scary. And it is not your fault. First of all, it is the USDA recommendation of their food pyramid. Does not make any sense at all. The bottom is eat bread and grains, bread and grains. Well, that if you want to be fat, yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be, make more sense to, to turn it upside down, but. Hmm. It's not, we should not, our main food should really be vegetables mm -hmm. as much as possible. And of course, uh, I mean, I eat anything, everything, not anything, no. But I, I mean, I'm a, what they call it, an omnivore. I eat meat, I eat vegan, I eat plant, you know, everything. Sure. And uh, some people, they want to be vegan. They, that's their choice. But not to eat more bread or more grains. Unfortunately, there is. And there's also all these um, in grains and seeds, these um, protection leptins that are, uh, that it is so birds can eat those seeds and then fly and poop them out some other place and not be digested. So we don't digest them either, and we may have a reaction to it. Now, I've heard seeds are really healthy. Are you saying that they're maybe not as healthy as... Maybe not, and I think you have to look up each one. I think I there are lots of seeds that are, but there are also many that maybe should be soaked first. Mm. And that's the same with, need, with nuts, uh, even though I, I don't really have time to soak my nuts, but it, that's the best way to do it, is to soak them and then dry them. And that would eliminate that outer coating? Well, the nuts, I don't think, have that coating, which is they have a, 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 a thing. And some seeds, I'm not really familiar with which seeds, but there are lots of seeds that are uh, not, that are con that contain leptin, like tomatoes. And, uh, but um, we have to be a little careful with the seeds, too. What about lentils? Are lentils healthy? It depends. Everything is not good for everybody. <laughs> so some people cannot handle them, the lentils or, or beans. And yeah, I would probably say that's also has to do with that coating. And um, I think when you, if you soak it first, like overnight and cook them slowly, it's less risk because there is like a skin that comes off mm -hmm. and you can skim that off. 
but there is a, there's a lot to think about. I'm not an expert, expert in everything. I don't eat beans myself, even though I love them, but I, my body doesn't. So it's important to know our bodies and what we tolerate well and what we yes. don't. If we could just tone in and, and um, see, do, do we get bloated after eating? Uh, do we get stomach cramps? Are we constipated or the other loose stool? There are lots of signs, really. And uh, bloating is one of them. That's a big one. So all of this brings us back to the allergy kit. So when we get the allergy kit, and there are a few different ones that you mentioned. Yeah, but they all have the first seven ones in them. Okay. So how do we use that? Do we you mentioned there's laser, there's... Yes, there is the laser. And you take the vial. Every um, kit also has a stress vial, which can be used separately too, if you have stress. <laughs> and, um, and you use a um, Q-tip. You just lightly lick on the Q-tip because you don't want to contaminate the vials. Mm -hmm. Then you put them in your belly button. The Q-tip? The, the Q-tip and the, and the vials, yes. And okay. the reason is that whatever goes on in our body is in our saliva. It's like a laboratory. I'm checking everything going on, what's going on. And the belly button is the center of the digestive system. So it's like a snapshot. It's like helping the body know what to do with this information. And then you take the laser. I think this has all. Right, David? Yes, it does. So you take the laser and you shine them through. Uh, you put them over the, the belly button. I'm not going to show you mine. <laughs> And you shine it through for 30 seconds. Then you go over your head seven times. So you start at the third eye and go just over the neck and the neck, the, the head and the neck seven times. You go over the ears for seven seconds, the other ear for seven seconds, because the ear in Chinese medicine is like an upside down fetus. Mm. So this is the head, this is the mm. butt. So you can figure out everything every organ, every limb, everything that's on the ear. So by treating the ear, you treat the whole body. And then you go back to the, to the belly button again for 30 seconds and you repeat it. So you do the belly button three times, the head and the ears two times. And then we do something called the four gates afterwards, which is, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, points. This is the uh, large intestine four. So the point between the is between, between, the, between your thumb and your yeah. hand. If you press that, it will probably be sore. And then you go to the corresponding on the left foot between the big toe and the second toe. That's called liver three. Mm -hmm. You do the left side, the right side, and you end up on the left side. So you kind of close the circuit. This is to avoid. It's just to, these points, they, they balance the upper and the lower, the inner and the outer. Chinese medicine. So it is also to avoid having any kind of reaction. If you're very sensitive, I, I, I always recommend that you do it with a surrogate. And you, so you do the whole treatment on yourself. You have the saliva on the person who is being treated and you are just in physical contact that the, the person being treated holds a hand on you, for example, and you have the intention, this treatment is intended for Mm -hmm. whatever his name is and then you treat yourself when we are able to suspend what we know and what we have been taught our whole lives and to try something new amazing things can happen we are embodied spirits and we are energy if we go back to our earliest science yeah. classes yeah. matter and energy are the same things just in a different form they're not created or destroyed. They're just merely transmuted. If you're energy, you can convert it to matter and vice versa. So it does make a lot of sense to me that energy treatments would have a lot of power and effect on the matter, the mass that is our bodies. And our innate knows everything, really. It's just... We live in this world of, of information that is bombard, bombarding us and, and it's all outside. It's 
we forget to go inside. Mm-hmm. We forget to ask our bodies what it needs and, and talk to our body. Some, uh, some tradition, I don't know what to call it, but some people, and I do that also, I go to bed and I thank my organs <laughs> for doing what they're doing. We are very ungrateful, really. <laughs> You know, you're right. Gratitude is a life-changing mindset. Is that it? It is. Yes. It is. Well, my mind is reeling, and I have, at the same time, no questions and a thousand questions, (laughs) if that makes any sense. I don't have one that I can articulate in the moment, but I do have several that are brewing under the surface. And I would love to have you back again sometime and explore some of these topics a little further. I would love to come back. (laughs) So to get the allergy kit, the link is in the show notes. So make sure whether you're watching on YouTube or you're listening on your favorite podcast app, check out the description in the show notes, click the link and check out the allergy kit. And I also have, I also have a masterclass coming up. And it should be, I don't know if it's quite there yet, but it should be under dringe.com. It's D-R-Y-N-G-E.com. It is $17 because if you don't pay, you don't sign up. You you sign up, but you don't show up. Right. Go have a little skin in the game to get results. Exactly. But you can also download a free gift there. And um, well, look around there too, dringe.com, D-R-Y-N-G-E.com. And again, this link is also in the show notes. So make sure you check these out and send me your questions. Let us know what thoughts came up for you today. And we will have another another visit from Dr. Inga Jung. Thank you so much for showing us a whole new world that was right with us this whole time that we didn't have the eyes to see. Thank you. <laughs>